Notifications allow your app to notify a user of a special event even when your app is not running. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to add notification support to your app. In order to add notification support, you need a notification center component. I'm going to rename it to notification C just to make it less code to write. So in the code, in order to send a scheduled notification, which is notification that will happen at some point in the future, what we do is we check with our notification center to verify that notifications are supported on our current platform. If they are, then we create a new notification of type T notification, and we give that notification a name. Now this name is our friendly name that we'll use in order to refer to that notification later and an alert body, which is the text that's displayed to the user. The fire date is when we want the notification to appear to the user. This is where you can schedule your notifications. In this case, we're gonna schedule it for 10 seconds from now. And then we go back to our notification center and we schedule the notification that we just created. Now, because this notification will be owned by the notification center, we can dispose our reference because it's now been passed off to the OS. And so the OS was gonna maintain this and display it to the user. To send a notification immediately, we can schedule the notification for now, a fire date of now, or we can use the percent notification method. Now there's two more buttons on here. We can cancel scheduled notifications or cancel all notifications. So cancel scheduled notification is again gonna to check to see if notifications are supported. And then we're gonna cancel notification by name. And so this is gonna cancel whatever notification has that name. So if we wanted to, we could give all of our notifications different names. So we could cancel certain notifications at specific times if we wanted to. Or we can use cancel all to cancel all notifications. Since this runs almost exactly the same on both iOS and Android, let's go ahead and take a look at it on my iPad. Here's the app running on my iPad. If I swipe down the top, this is the notification center. This is where all the notifications will appear on my device. So I'm gonna go ahead and say send notification immediately. Swipe down from the top, and there's our notification. That's not near as useful as the ability to send scheduled notifications. So I'll say send scheduled notification, and then I'll close the app and dismiss it from memory. And then I'll wait a few seconds. And there we go, there's notifications appeared. I can then swipe down from the top. I see it here in the notification center. And then when I tap on it, it relaunches my application, bringing the user back in. And this is a great way to uh, keep your users engaged, bring them back into your application, or let them know when specific events have occurred. So let's take a look at the canceling of notifications. If we look now, we have a notification here in the notification center. If I say cancel all notifications and come back, it's gone. And if I send, send scheduled notification and then cancel the scheduled notification, if we come back and wait a few seconds, it will never appear because we canceled it before it actually occurred. To find this and other mobile code snippets, check out embarcadero.com slash snippets.